fight, the reason why they got four kills was him. It was Makoto because he caught the Mars, he almost got the PL, and in the end and he got the PL. Oh. Look at this, he came to clear the wave, they can hear him clear. The BKB is going to be used by Carl. he's going to chase him, look at the Wukong, the arena goes down. The combo is going to be used, but they also got that tanky, they're going to turn onto them right now. Game of the low here, Heels is going to turn off, but Rubik's already dead. 100 seconds on the sideline, trying to get the Dark Seal low down half HP, but now they're looking to turn around. Zephyr just trying to hold his ground and retreat, but they've already lost the Lich again. They will lose the Mars as well as he falls, and on the side, Dark Seal just wasting their time as he escapes. Three dead, as they find the big kill on the Monkey King, they're in the the base and boom ID, they do not want to leave anymore. Cuckoo gonna be found out and killed off. They forced the buy back out of Carl, but what the hell do you now do with it? You watch your base crumble. Yeah, you can't do much with it. You do not have a BKB, you do not have your ulti, so nothing you can do about it. The only thing they got earlier on, this was good. Play around this area, we talked about it, give you AM space. Maybe we're past that point now, but we're not past deaths for Ember as he's gonna die again. It actually sounds like a chant that you could use in a stadium. As he'll try and move away, there's the Remnant out. Beautiful play, actually. He uh, he yielded himself, uh, not to get silenced. The uh, DP actually waited for him to yield himself because he knew he was going to yield after it. But then he played it perfectly with the with the sleight of fist. Now, does he want to fight? Oop, there's the yields coming, but look at this. There's a Remnant waiting, and the Echo Slam without hesitation. Two dead already, and this poor lion. Uh, please, <laughs> please, just have... Yeah, let, let him go. Let he's, him go. He's worth nothing. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, They're not listening to us. Utility for his team to enable the rest of his team. But as they jump into E here, it's... Hold up. Abyssal Blade coming out. The damage coming down as well. But he's able to get off the Stampede along with the jump. But in comes Frile with that Aghanims with the Storm Spirit. Electric Vortexes, Ace is getting beaten down, the two of them sized up, the save is going to come on, but it comes onto E as he heals himself as well. The Egg is getting a decent amount of work over the back lines, and Envy's still surviving through this one. Do they have the survivability Cloud9 to actually turn this fight around? It's looking unlikely, his Brow just jump in Ace, and now oh. the damage comes in, another stun, another Electric Vortex, onto three, grouping them up, beating them down, and crazy, find themselves an easy triple kill for Kezu with four heroes dead, and only Pilar Dye remaining to defend this high ground. Same time, you don't want to get stunned up, and now Madara can go for the Chrono Spear, and now comes the Splur oh, Mortimer's Kiss is over the top, vacuum coming through as well, but they don't really get that much up. Another stolen oh. chrono from Tiger, holding the rest of OG still and allowing them to just completely dismantle No Tail. But Koifa has gone down throughout all of this. They are fighting without him, but they're gonna try and go for this anyway. Mila Samael being chased away, but he has got that surge to keep him healthy. But now there's nothing for Madara here. Madara needs to run. The wolf is hungry, but the wolf isn't that healthy. Now oh, they come in. Nice two-man stop, allowing them to kill off Saxa. Seb as well, looking in a bit of trouble. He needs to find a way out of this one, but he's stuck. There's so many units around him, he can't make himself scared. And he's got to get dropped. Phantom the Brace stopping him from searching away as well. And the extra strength. Like, look at his HP. 3,000 at the moment. Did you see how Stone Cold on Levin is? They tried to bait his BKB and he was like, nah. You can blink on me. I'm not going to panic and hit my BKB. He just stood there. And now they're chasing the down inside the base. There's the arena from 11. They're going to stun up onto JT. Remember, he's got himself quite a few buttons to press. But he still dies. Even with all of the flickering and the pipes and the Lotus. He got nothing off. And the Dazzle has no buyback. He spent everything, and his team is being ravaged by LGD. Emo trying Good to make his way back. The Shiva's guy doesn't do anything. He's dead for two minutes. Oh, and it looks all but lost here is LGD. Just gonna rampage their way through here. Unstoppable Void Spirit, and uh, a nice looking game from LGD. As uh, they, they will take our first match here of the day. Trent. What's the, the point? Of the, what's the point of going for Earthshaker more if, uh, if you're not uh... very good for you? But of course, easier said than done. Especially no, the liquid. They've seen that they're all standing low ground. Flare, guys, and they are kind of challenging them. It almost feels like the void. He's, he's really far back, and now they're going to jump forward. They're going on to No-Tail. They've got the science out with the Phantom Embrace onto him, keeping the Brewmaster from casting any spells. Now they're going to go for the hook shot up onto the high ground. And Sanya, he's going to get left behind, as in they go with the Cogs. Insane is getting beaten down and will lose his life. Meanwhile, not too much else going on here. Is they going to throw out the Stampede? All right, never mind. Boxy coming to the back line. Trying to kick off No-Tail before he can get off the ultimate, but he gets it off in time. And now in comes a Chrome Spear with the vacuum. With the damage, is it enough? No. They will be able to not do anything as Smell loses his life. But Ara is getting Low, and they're gonna lose the void as well. Oh dear me. The combo, it looked great. It, it looked great, but unfortunately. It felt great, but then you realized you've got a centaur with a pipe. Yeah. You have a way to cancel it. The vacuum looked beautiful, everything looked beautiful, and then it, it reality sunk in. It was like ah.
We don't actually have much damage yet. I feel OG... Here. Let's see what he can do. There's a Spirit Vessel onto Mickey Disarm as well. Mode. But unfortunately, the Timber Chain from Seb's going to miss. And Mickey's just continually running himself away. A blink forwards from Saxa. But he's dropping pretty low here. And now the slam on the back lines from Tiger. Oh my goodness. He gets himself just about everybody. As now a Winter's Curse comes out from some mail. But even this will not be enough to drop anybody. Boxy is too tanky. One hero left. And it is some mail. Never mind. Zero heroes left. Never mind. One hero left. And it is some mail, but what can he Look at this guy run. Oh my god, what a monster. Uh, they have Echo Slam back up again in four seconds. Oh, Maybe a chance there. Oh! Ew, good last second save. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. They're all grouped together. Walk in, Echo going to connect onto two. Still not quite enough damage, though. It does look like the Ursa is going to get healed back up. Oh, they got the Fates Edict on him. The last second save, the Echo did nothing. And still the wraparound's coming, but this Oracle, you've got to find Fly in the background. He is saving lives, mitigating damage. Sonic Wave isn't enough. Doesn't quite look like a turn. The heal, the regen, it's all looking pretty solid for RTZ. He manages to find the kill, just barely living. Enrage pops off at the last second. He's not going down. You can't deal with the bear. Oh God, oh, all they want in this world is just to kill him one last time, but it ain't gonna happen. Oh, it feels bad. Bulba triple kill. GG called. Oracle is good. Darkseer is good. This Dude. draft is good. They played it right well. Right now, you can see a droid starting to back off from the team fight. This arrow, arrow? doesn't connect on to anyone. No, just misses out. Able to sidestep it. And then going in one more oh, time. Oh, he gets no nothing with RP. Anyone. Yeah, he's got the refresher shot. If he wants to use it one more time, could use it right where he's standing. But uh, he's still got the Blink Dagger up online. He's sitting invisible at the moment. This could be the big turnaround in the team fight if he uses it. Oh, he's just walking up into him. He uses it, connects onto a couple. Could this be the burst down? Chan buys back. Marana, no buyback, but they don't get the key cores. They aren't able to finish them off. Ana in a precarious position, able to walk back. He's on 28, level 28. He gets caught out with the, uh, the Void Remnant. Everything is happening in these team fights. He's Max so trying to chase low. down Ana. They're so low, both of them. It's a game of chicken on both ends. Everyone is dying around except for Ana. He's able to get back into the base. He's sure he's going to buy up a health potion, try and join these team fights back as quick as he can. But in the meantime, they're taking out a lot of these different heroes. Chen goes down. It's Mars and PL against the world at this point. They've got the bottom racks. They're pushing into the mid. Natsumi still lives with this divine rapier. If they can catch him, he's dead. There's the bash. There's the bash. He goes down. That's it. They get it. The GG is finally called. 63 minutes into the game. Troll Wallet still holding the spider legs, but he didn't even need him. Divine Rapier is all that you need up in a game like this. Doom is like... He's way too strong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, just yeah, at this point, Rezo? Like, they... I mean, can you can you bring anything down here to push him away? They're going to try and lead in a little bit with the Splinter Blast, but I mean, you're seeing it already, as you say. Level 4. Being able to walk around, having the buckler, that extra bit of armor, the harassment is just never going to be there enough to outdo oh. the regen that he has. So I got no one. This is big kill from Dude. Roger. Can he find wow. him? Anyone's? He's hiding. Wow. Oh, oh, and he steps out of the trees just as Roger came in with a swashbuckle. No one for the occasional misplay. Into Roche VP go, and with no funic. I mean, and the question is, are you buying back on the Weaver to fight this? No, you, I, gotta I, you, gotta go. you gotta go. You gotta go and You don't. You don't buy back Weaver. Ah, uh, it's too late. Oh, or is it? Oh, he's in! Byron. He got it! Roger's in in time with the Rolling Thunder. He's able to snatch the Aegis and roll out of there. The beautiful drive-by. Just get, yeah, cut your losses. Just take what you got. You got the Aegis. Who get out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he feels that they can. So uh, Ricky cannot get back to base. That's what. So he's going all in here. There's no turning back. You have to go now. Oh my goodness. Does he see it? Oh, They're doing Ricky it. Ricky too early. They're coming in with a relocate. They're bringing in We Are they're doing it for the backdrop protection? They're gonna get back. It's too much damage. They're gonna do it. Nick was gonna have the win. Will whispers out, but it doesn't matter with the PKPs. They hit the ancient, and Nigma find a way to end the game. Thirty-seven thousand gold down. The way they're taking these team fights on Beachy is just so coordinated. Eurus is standing in on the front lines. He just puts his big shield up and says, "You know what, Ori? You do your thing. We'll be fine." Yeah. Faith Beyond is. Has got all the He's pressure on him now. He has to wait for everybody to come together for this big black hole. But it's 
It's not happening. Nobody is grouping up. The positioning of Vichy Gaming is perfect. Or he's taking quite the beating. And there is the black hole on the, the back line. Die. While the Aegis is being popped on Ori. And this is the fight that he was waiting for. The buyback is there as well from Silar. He wants to take down. No more mana left for Ori. Still had something left in the tank. He can stand there and hit. But that was exactly needed. That was the AC. They need to keep this pressure bottom. It's going to... It's gonna win them the game. I see Miracle. He's already over to, to Secret's Jungle. They've got the relocate coming in as well. Mind Control tries for with the hookshot. Matsu pops the BKB. Starts to fight back with the bashes. The damage from Miracle, it seems to be too much. They'll pop down the Will of Wisp. Matsu, he turns. They're trying to take down GH and they'll get him. The IO is gone. So they'll Soulbind combo onto the two of them. But Mind Control's been left behind. He'll pop down the cogs. This is just a, a disengage for Enigma. The rest of them have to get out of there as they've lost GH and Mind Control. Zai, can he stay on top of them here? The remnants out onto Weeha. Weeha pops the BKB. Starts to punch back, but Matu, he just commits, blinks forward aggressively with the arm that toggle. He'll make sure he doesn't even lose his first life. He's still got two lives to play with here with that reincarnate. They're just chasing here, Secret. Zai's in, they relocate. They've got the damage here with the silence. Can they bring down this Wraith King? These arm lit toggles from Matu. Finally, it will end. Finally, he falls, but he's back for round two. And we are and Kuro, they're incredibly vulnerable. Kuro is dead. We are will try and Hurricane Pike himself up to the high ground, but he gets knocked back into the arrow of Yapsor. Oh, look at the speed! <laughs> the shining light. Oh, Silar has got a Sunder available if we really need to. Looks like they want to try and take this fight. That is going to be a lion straight off the bat. They are able to catch him. Cookie doesn't really hit anybody just yet. Yang has to be careful too with the Cursed Crown. He will be the next target by the looks of that. At least the next target of Faith Beyond. In the meantime, there is a wall up as well with the rest of Vichy Gaming coming in. They are just starting to work on the back lines. Nice Torrent coming out from nothing to say, making sure that the Troll and PYW Spear Breaker are not able to get anything done. Oh, maybe... the oh dude, the bashes are ruthless. Two kills straight out of that. And the chase is actually on. PYW will have a charge again in a second, looking for a target, finds it on nothing to say. Is there is there any help? Is Faith Beyond going to be able to do anything or is he going to watch his teammate die? He is going to be able to do anything. Shouldn't get too greedy because his own life is not secure yet either. Got the ulti back up again. Oh, great torrent. Uh, great cookie as well from Y, helping out there, helping his teammate, helping Kunkka live. And uh, Frost Shield, it finally isn't doing enough, but 12 seconds until Anti-Mage is back. It's about to kick off, Kips unless Adroit want to leave. But K jumps in, he's popped the BKB. Core is going to be used onto the Queen of Pain right now. They really want to get these Mega Creeps, so how much is it going to cost them? They get the Mega Creeps, now can they get themselves out? Do they even want to get themselves out? Car's going to get dropped, does have buyback, and is going to use it. Meanwhile, they're going to get Cuckoo. Cuckoo trying to haze him out. Meanwhile, then the Death Prophet on the sidelines, getting your stuff. Screen's going to come cutting on through. Shen, they finish the job here. Boomy going to drop down the ultimate here, trying to control up Raven and give that seems to face it. They're on top of Raven right now. Raven, he needs to get himself out and will be able to blink away, but he's still being chased. Meanwhile, Car is in some trouble. Trouble, being controlled up. Meanwhile, Boomy has to back himself up. That BKB is ending, but the Queen of Pain might not be so lucky. Genie's get herself out. Blink forwards, but Natsumi, he's ready and waiting oh. for it. Will be able to get the kill on the steps of the base. The dieback from the Queen of Pain is so costly. Raven, you got to pull out a miracle, but getting first hit back is not the miracle you're looking for. Abyssal got to follow up as well. Raven, he's getting low. He's running out of health, but Max actually the one in real trouble right now. The puck is going to go down. Natsumi, he looks like he's all alone all of a sudden. His team is behind him, but they are holding back. I think there is a call from Adroit to just chill the F out, get yourselves the F away, but Zephyr says, no way, I'm coming in for this one. Geek Town, they continue to chase. That team is going to get caught out a little bit here. Meanwhile, CML trying to run himself on the side of the back lines here, but they've got him lifted up, thrown into the air. Meanwhile, Natsumi trying to get on top of Raven, but they will be able to kill off the Chen. Now Natsumi all alone, fighting up into Raven, but he might actually be able to. No, blink away. They don't have the chase. Boomy does come in, trying to help this one out. Meanwhile, Cuckoo popping that BKB, trying to get himself back up to the sidelines. Astral step back into his base, and it looks like finally... The second time without it. Now with it, it's going to be almost impossible. There's the silence. Yeah, the silence from Resident Pulse. He's going to be able to get out of dodge, at least actually going to go back into the river and take out poor little fly on that Shadow Demon. Now Arteezy, absolutely no mana, but again, level 20 talent, he'll be back. He's going to get stunned right off the bat, though, from the Resident Pulse. The Skeeter, not going to be able to get out of dodge, as that boat will perfectly connect with the X marks the spot, as the damage will continue. Oh. AM is going to jump onto crit, Trying to do as much damage as possible before he gets off that mana void. Not a whole lot of damage, though, because of that beautiful wand usage, but does find the kill nonetheless. Buy back onto the Void Spirit. We'll be back in the fray very shortly. Remember, 
Arteezy's ult is back up in 13 seconds, so they have to kill him now if they're gonna go for it. Jumping in, beautiful damage from Baral, getting the double silence, triple silence, in fact. So he's gonna continue the pressure as Ryo, absolutely out of mana. Gets Spirit Vessel as well. And now Arteezy's ultimate is back oh, up, gets the back the onto attack. AM. <laughs> and down AM goes. Bryle will have to get the oh, hell out of dodge as this might be a free Roshan. Very good. Because he can cancel the TP also, right? So he contributes to the top lane by not being in there. Talking about the top lane is they're still just getting overrun. AM tip is Hellraisers, back. they get the two kills. Crystallize has indeed backed and the BKB, it's it's not there. Didn't manage to get the funds in time. They're losing this Rax here up top. The buyback's coming out from both Ilias and Pasha, whose stomp connection onto Funny. Crystallize tries to commit, but they just don't have the damage to take him down immediately. A defensive destruction, Manifold will pop the Lesh the once, but they've lost the Disruptor. It's a dieback on him. The bash is out from Nyx. Pasha is taken out. Double dieback on Na'Vi's side. This game looking to be maybe even just over or at least getting closer and closer, and yeah, they're going to call it. GG comes out from Crystallize. They didn't have the time to play as they wanted to with this yeah, AM as Hellraisers. They punished it perfectly. I thought you were going to talk about Raper. So <laughs> no, no, we just got a repackage. Yeah, they just, someone's just found a Raper. No, no. <laughs> the repackage. Yeah, it it, we've seen some crazy things before. Remember that game? Yeah, we yeah. saw you know, when Enigma took down the Ancient 37k down. They True. In that one. We are. Looks for the commitment. It's going to jump straight in onto Mick K. They're looking to find him, but this bat is just getting shredded. Bat is dead. Red right. is off, though. They blow up the Death Prophet. They'll look over towards Koi for Koi with the BKB. BKB is about to end, but he still has the edges. Boxy. Huge oh, jump. Rick to Rick. Three man. Tiger. The stolen Red Grim again for the second time this game. This Rubik just styling on Nigma as this should be the end to game one as they take this tier it's three. It's just not happening for either team just yet. So many of these smokes with the infests, with the roll forwards from the Earth Spirit. And once again, this one's going to be revealed. They'll see Ori once again. He can't really afford to go down here, but he's getting bashed up by Chalice and he's going to lose his life. And now immediately looking forwards onto Yang. Yang cannot get away from this one. He's going to die as well. Chalice with an easy double kill. PYW going for the TP out on the trees. They don't see him. A nice little juke there, but still losing two key heroes. Two of your cores are now dead. Eurus, though, he's, he's going to pop the Wukong to the front lines here, oh, and the Echo Slap comes down, it's not bad, but unfortunately it's not that great either, as CY is going to lose his life, Eurus with a BKB, but he's still taking so much physical damage from Old Eleven and from Chalice, he's trying to turn around, trying to fight into them, needs to get off that Wukong's come out, uh, that Jingu will be able to do so, meanwhile, in comes Somnus, here comes a big slap, so should be able to turn this one around, but a nice stun and lock from DY, going to hold them still, is enough for Eurus to get himself away, it's not, the Rock comes cutting on through, a dead Monkey King without buyback for 66 seconds, and the Lions gonna die as well. It's a dire situation. A China smoke, нет земли. Цепляет нас феникса, но диск. Продлить, продлить. Диск имеется одна ульта. Уже кернавата потратили, да? Если какая-то помощь, майн контроль пытается застанить и байбек, байбек взрывает джейдж ультимейт. Санрей идеальный и никто не не сможет убить второе яйцо. Почти. Боже мой, как он выжил в этой ситуации, казалось бы, уже все. Еще один, еще Второй один. ультимейт, но уже такой. Сани убили, и какая у нас пишет команда Hellraiser. Фан ультимейт, это было... Я, я говорил, что Феникс, Феникс здесь просто выиграет. Это был рефрешер с Раша на третий, да? Да, да, да. Очень странно, очень странно. На самом деле, это просто, это просто супер жадный плей. Hellraiser вроде как догадывается, что там может быть оппонент, выходят, но уже поздно. И в атаку бегут у нас команда Нигма нужно принимать драку, нужно ставить две арены сейчас. Хорошие варды, идеальный ультимейт попы, но погибает. У нас уже Раста, Питлорду очень плохо, Куроку погибает, Чен выхиливает всех, Мираку пол хп остается. Манки Кинг стоит в арене, ничего ему не сделать. И Фаник выживает. Минус три. We respawns, but Fanic just kind of hanging around on the sidelines. Gonna throw down a spirit vessel onto GH. Trying to get him on the side. Meanwhile, oh no, Roger, he's been caught out somewhat. Surrounded by Meepos, absolutely encapsulated in a shell of the Meeps. That's it, gonna be able to kill him off. They haven't actually really converted this into anything. Like, you've used an Aegis to get a kill on a Pangolier, and that's about it. Yeah, the tier two Maybe should be full of as well, yeah. Oh dear. This is a little fawn which does not want to be in this way. And oh, beautiful shards actually catching out Nyx, forcing him the long way around. He's able to dodge out one net, but how many can he dodge out? One Pangolier is the only that. answer. A buyback for the Pangolier, gonna try and make this happen, but they're running out of health on this Bristle back real damn fast. He's gonna drop, conquer in the middle of everything, along with and Roger trying to do something, trying to do anything, but all they are doing is dying and dying and dying again. Roger penned in, GG's are called, and the game goes to Nigma in 22 minutes flat. This is why you don't let the Meepo through. This is why. Quite a nice little pickup.
Yeah, and the Yager. Let's use back for this one, though, so... Oh, that smoke, smoke. Could be tricky. BKB actually popped from Roger, but he's punched up into the end. They're turning around on the Micro Look at the damage. They ripped through him in seconds. Roger does time responses. Miracle comes in, and he is dishing out a decent amount itself. But having used his BKB early could set him up into an awkward position. But he's going down onto the low ground, looking for Funny. But Funny, he's going to connect with the enchanters. Meanwhile, look at Nyx tearing through Kuroki, doing so much damage. And looking forward to more here. Turns around a Miracle. It's a big, beefy fight right now. Miracle is not winning that badly. Meanwhile, GH trying to roll in on the sidelines here, trying to get something done and try and buy space for his teammates to get out. But that's not going to happen. GH. He's gonna lose his life in the end as the Shadow Grave not gonna keep him alive, but they turn it around. The Roar is out onto Nyx. Is anybody gonna help him here? He's all by himself. He's all alone. Having am doing nothing as they run him through. Down goes Nyx in response. He does have a buyback, but the Concut does not. The Elder Titan does not. He needs 30 seconds until we get the Elder Titan there. Ooh, Enigma. They still do manage to make it happen. And they're now poking Funnick.